What's up guys, it's Bryce here. So today I'm gonna teach you what to, you can do with your snake shed. So first you have to get a roll of paper or you can take just normal paper and then tape it together, which I have not done because I'm going to use this. Roll it out. Then cut it just a bit longer than your snake shed. So first, you put your snake shed on the paper, but just warning, what we're about to do would be a ton easier if you get the snake shed just after it's shed, because now it's dry and stuff like that. It's not gonna be as nice. Ignore that beeping noise, it's just the jolly thermostat. So cut it down the belly scales over here, all the way, and try cut as straight as you can down the central belly scales. Okay, so now that that's done, you can gently open this up. If, as I said, this will be a lot easier if you collect the snake shed and do it straight away. Because I had to film this, I didn't do it straight away. So, because when it's wet, from when they just shed it will stick nicely down like this on the paper so slowly open that up all the way and what might help let me just check here is if you spray it so just spray it I'm not worried if the paper gets wet obviously you could do this before So now, as you can see, it's sticking to the paper a bit better. Keep getting it out without tearing the snake shed. Gently, gently pulling the wrinkles out. Try not to tear it. So... I'm actually going to cut this piece off because when the shed, when I'm actually going to cut this piece off over here because I'm not getting it to look as nice and then keep spreading the rest of it out. So now I'm just going to cut around, okay, or tear <laughs> where it's wet, cut around the pelt, you can say, but it's not really a pelt because it's not a dead snake. And when you stretching this out don't stretch it too much because then it looks unnatural because you're stretching the scales lift that up and now leave it somewhere to dry for a bit okay so now you left it overnight to dry and it should stick to the paper like this and now all you have to do is cut around the shed okay so now that you've cut it out it's basically ready to stick on the wall with some press stick you can stick it there it looks like a nice cool pelt but what I must say is it might come off so you can just glue it back on you can glue it or just as I prefer to do is take some water spray it down and it'll stick right back on okay so now you can put it on the wall now that you have finished your snake pelt but out of a shed I couldn't find Prit press stick, so I'm just going to use what I have into the foam or polystyrene. There we go. Just do another one there, another one there, and that looks pretty good. Wouldn't you say so yourself? Looks quite cool. I'm pretty impressed with it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe as well as like it, comment if you have any questions, inquiries or anything like that. Thanks guys, it's Bryce from Righteous Reptiles.